It was way too windy outside. Way too windy. I have to go on a plant-based diet. I cannot eat meat anymore. <laughs> I am not allowed to eat anything that is not a plant. Because my cholesterol is too high. Which means I'm at risk for heart attack and stroke. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, so I just did like a bit of running. Not very much. This is just to begin. I don't really like going on the treadmill because there are people that live downstairs and it's a bit noisy so that's kind of disrespectful but if I have my washer going I will you know I should be on there right now but I was outside I did go around the block once and that's a good start so maybe tomorrow I'll do two blocks start losing weight hopefully it's spring summers are coming it's good to be healthy I gotta get healthier I've neglected my health so me I'm always physical I'm always doing stuff to better my health I never should have introduced my son to the dollar store cheesies my own damn fault okay so I gotta switch it I gotta turn it around that's a lifestyle change I mean it's okay to do it every once in a while but in my life I've never heard of cholesterol and cholesterol is kind of a fancy form for fat it's a fat word yeah why do they put it in food why would they do that to people Okay, so bear with me. There's no intro because, of course, this is a new phone thanks to my uh, to my mom, my stepmom, Joy. Okay, so I did a bit of a workout, not very much, but. My knee, I hurt my knee doing squats about a month ago and uh, I'm just getting back. So that's what I'll do. <clears throat> These videos are going to make me feel sad because of the weight that I have accumulated on my, you know, when your face gets, like your face is, I think the last part that gets fat, gains the weight, shows the weight, right? And it's probably going to be the last but my boobs have gotten, my breath, my girls have gotten a lot bigger. So that's no good. So, I'm gonna trim up lots of cellulite on my ass. On my legs, lots of cellulite on my arms. Gotta get rid of it. Or, you know, start eating better. Okay, we'll check in tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Thanks for joining me at DeVere's Dark Side. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>
hungry. Um, and pink Himalayan salt, because that's apparently really good for you. I've had some celery sticks. I have had some wine, some sparkling wine, but with strawberries. Either way, it's no good. Because when I drink wine, it makes me hungry. But I do like my wine, so. Okay, so the apple cider vinegar is really old. <laughs> so I had to shake it up to get mom going. You know when um, you buy apple cider vinegar and you see the, the, the remnants on the bottom? That's called mom. So I shook it up and I put it in here. It could clean out my digestive system. I don't know. But I am hungry. So what I did a long time ago was... I cooked the turkey and I kept, you know, the gel and I put that in with the carrots and the Brussels sprouts <clears throat> and that gave it some flavor, but I'm still hungry and I don't know how I'm going to make it through the night because like I usually snack at like after six, like maybe an hour after six because I'm still hungry. And if I'm hungry, I can't go to sleep. So I do try to find something that is low calorie. And I know I'm going to have to stop eating after six. I know that because that's why I'm gaining so much weight. Well, plus the crap that I'm eating, right? Oh, I put some olive oil on that um, carrots and, um, oh my gosh, my head. Brussels sprouts, holy cow. This is me off of the eggs. I like eggs, but <sighs> while it's true, I don't want to go back to the way, you know, to the healthy eating, but I also don't want to hurt myself even more with um, more of a higher cholesterol intake. So it's a work in progress. And I apologize with the open mouth or full mouth and talking. All right. So I have to stop eating microwave popcorn. And I have to buy popcorn that is not going to be microwave popcorn. And cook it. We'll see. Okay, second day of running. my old shoes. I have holes in the bottom of them. Okay. So day two of my, my jogging. Trying to lose weight. Cholesterol. I'm tired. I didn't get to bed until like 2 in the morning. <sighs> I'm 
feeling like rather restricted right in here when I run. I think it's um, that exercise asthma, that asthma you get when you exercise. It's not good. All because I just started running, you know? I'll just sit down here and soak up the vitamin D. And uh, tomorrow will be a better day, I guess. It's already good. I'm able to run. Okay. Okay, um, day three of my run. I'm feeling a little off. A little. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get rid of that. Okay, so I did just one lap around the block. My face is red. I think I'm going to need a hat because the sun's going to get closer to the earth, which means it's going to get hotter. <clears throat> and I'm, oh, I did some work outside too, so that's why I'm looking rather pink. Also the sun. Also, I was working outside. Also, this one. That's pretty much enough, right? Okay. I am so tired. I haven't even had breakfast. <coughs> Trying to use my reserves. Trying to use my reserves, like my fat reserves. Trying to get into keto. Keto. Yeah. My tinnitus is really loud right now. Tinnitus. It's not tinnitus. What is it? Tinnitus or tinnitus? It doesn't really matter. So I got some stuff done in the backyard. I'm trying to clean up, trying to, you know, make it look nicer so that when potential buyers come in, they see, okay. We don't have to do too much. It's nice. There goes my blood pressure. I can feel it going like, oh, I they're really like, I better go check it. <laughs> better go check it. You wanna come with me? Ow, oh, I keep hitting myself on that corner. My blood pressure is probably very high right now. I've been taking my pills. I'm not eating as much cholesterol. I'm just going to take me top off. Sorry about that. I kind of miscalculated. Okay, can I do this? Is that better? Can you see that? Okay. Yeah, you probably can. So I'm just going to check my blood pressure just to make sure I'm not overdoing it. I'm starting to shake. <coughs> Oops, can't do that. <coughs> it sucks that whenever you try to take your blood pressure and you cough, It'll interfere with that um, of reading. Okay, so it's one twenty nine over seventy eight. That's okay. That's not a bad reading. That's actually perfect. That's pretty good. That's a good reading. But I don't 
I don't uh, stop at one. I will take two. Two of these little buggers. Some people take three. But yeah, I'm trying to get rid of all of this. So, diet change. This is all fat, bad fat. This is all insulin. Fatty liver. So I've cut out, I've cut out sugar, dairy, except I make ghee, and uh, animal products, chicken, meat, like, um, bleh. steak, <coughs> <coughs> let's see what happens. The next couple of months to see if I can get back up to par with a good health reading. Okay, let's just see this again. I'm taking the second reading now. So everything is good. It's good. I just need two replenish I need to replenish my uh, electrolytes because when you're outside and you're sweating you lose a lot of salts electrolytes you know and if you're not replenishing something bad like could happen to you and I don't know what that is does anybody it's not good, <laughs> so replenish them. Um, don't drink Gatorade. Gatorade's got too much sugar in it. Pedialyte. Pedialyte's a good drink. Or pre-work with that pre pre-workout. But something with uh, good electrolytes in it. So yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna cool myself, my body down. Because when you are a lady or a gentleman of a certain age, you can't overheat your body. Because it may cause heat stroke, it could cause anything. Unless you're, you know, taking off clothes. But we don't want to go naked out there. Especially with all this, yeah. No. So see, that's the fat that I'm trying to get rid of. I'm trying to, yeah. So, all right. Those of you, men and women, okay, because we both carry a lot of weight up top, and running causes a lot of issues with that bounce, with the support, the lack of support. I got this, okay, I got this at Walmart, um, I think that they were $17 or something like that, maybe seven bucks, I don't know, can't remember now, but they really help with holding my girls in place when I'm running. So ladies, gentlemen, Unless, okay, if you can't afford, like, a proper jogging bra, if you can't afford a bra you jog in, use your, use your, use the bra that you have, of course. Don't go braless. And grab one of these. Lifesaver. I feel so much secure when, I, I feel so much more secure when I'm running or when I'm running. <laughs> It's an old lady jog around the block. Not a lot of stuff moves, so, and it flattens and holds together. I'm not going to wear it all day. Don't wear it all day because it's not okay for your body to be constricted like that 24-7. So after you're finished your run, take it off, wash it, whatever, you know. But yeah, these, these little buggers are pretty good. And they're in the um, underwear section at Walmart. Okay. 
thought you might appreciate that information. All right. That's from the corner of the freaking stairs there. Oh, the house bites me every once in a while. I don't know why. I think it just loves me. It's a love bite. Okay. Incredibly ugly my knees are from fat. That's fat. I haven't been taking care of my vessel. That stops now. Tomorrow? It's Friday. Pardon me, my nose is running. Tomorrow's Friday, and that means I run around once. Okay, so anyway, here's my bruise. Okay, bye. Hi, okay. He's inside out. No. Okay. Whew. Okay, they're not inside out. Okay, so um day four of running <coughs> going around the block. I'm tired. Stairs. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Halfway there. Okay, I'm home. Not easy. Okay, I'm home. I'm hot. I'm gonna sit in front of my AC. I'm really hot. Oh, if you can hear me. I'm not sure. So out of shape. So out of shape. That's just one lap. Around the block. I feel so much better. I feel so much better. It's gonna get hotter. Okay, so I need something to drink here. Stay with me. Sip, sorry. It's ice water. It'll cool my insides down. Okay, you probably can't hear me. Alright, so I'm cooling down, which is good. I'll go downstairs. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, um, uh, just relaxing. A little tired. My neck. Okay. So that was day four. Yeah, day four. One block. Everything's weird. It's like buzzing. It's buzzing. I got a headache in the back of my head, I think. It's in my temples. Yeah, maybe it's in my temples. I need more water, I guess. I've been drinking licorice tea with turmeric. Turmeric? 
and I, and I think the turmeric's giving me a headache. Only a little bit. It's not even a lot. But okay, so that was four days. That's the beginning. Um, it was hard. Around the block, it was hard. For somebody who hasn't done it in a couple of years, that was hard for me. And I, with the diet that I've had, it was hard. <sighs> But I do feel a lot better, like, I mean, to get all of this weight off and to... i just start trying to get healthy again. You don't want to overdo it in the beginning. Like, I mean, you want to start off slow. Everybody knows that. And if you don't know that, I'm telling you, start off slow. Baby steps. Because if you do giant steps and you fail, you will feel bad about it. So don't do that to yourself. So. And it's very warm outside. Like, I mean, in the morning. Like, if I could wake up and go before the sun hits, that's probably a better idea. Maybe I'll try that next week. Okay, so don't do it on the weekend. Let your body relax. Let it rest. So today is Friday, so I will relax and rest Saturday and Sunday. And then try two, two blocks next week on Monday. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know how hard that's going to be, but you'll come with me, so you'll see. Okay, I'm just going to uh, go outside and um, probably just relax for about a half an hour here. That takes a lot out of uh, an older person, like an older woman. It takes a lot out of somebody who hasn't done it in a while, so bear with me, okay? Be kind to yourself. So I will finish up with the backyard tomorrow today yeah and uh, with whatever I've done I'll post it so from here you will see that because I have been taking a break from the sweater coats and if this is boring to you that's okay it could be a learning experience this is what this is my process my process okay this is what I need to do for my artistic eye to get, you know, the next sweater in my mind. This is, this is it. So, if you're an artist, you'll understand what I'm saying. Without exercise, there's no firing of those electrodes or those, yeah, in your, in your head. You need that. You need that. Okay? You need that. Make sure you get it. Okay, I'll see you on Monday.